Okay, here we go again. Hi guys. Um, it's another PlayStation 3. Now, on this channel, you've seen these quite a few times, and yeah, I've always messed them up. But I found a new way of getting rid of the um, epoxy resin on the chip. Amazing. So I'm going to have a go at fixing this one. It's a red light of death, well, a yellow light of death, actually. So let's turn it on. And let's see. And as you can see, it's a green light and then yellow light. And that's it. So, um, I'm going to have a go at fixing this one. It may or may not have been opened because the seal is actually not on. Let's see. Um, see, the seal isn't here. But there again, it doesn't look like it's been tampered with too much. Maybe it's just come off. Uh, next point is I'm going to open it up and the next time you see this it will have all screws out. Got my little screwdriver set here. Okay, after a ridiculous amount of time that is out. Then pull top up and flip off so down towards flip off top then you will find, find out what this little thing here is what keeps you screwing so that is that as to say short screw So when you've finally got it open, the PlayStation 3 lifts from the back with a bit of a wiggle and then straight up and over. As you can see, this wire is attached. Pull this wire out by flicking the tag on this side and then it back. Now, with a bit of luck, it comes straight off. Is that bit was attached by the two screws to the board itself so you don't lose the screws which I've just done that come off nice that should stay in there and as you can see this one doesn't look like it's tampered with power DVD drive board so what you've got to do now is take everything else out to undo all of the internal screws Press down and push out. You can do it with your fingers, but it's quite tight in there. And that should let all the screws go out. Unplug the wire from the front. Remove this. to remove the tape. You will have to remove the ribbon cable so pull this tab towards you if it's facing this way. Pull the wire back again. So this might be taped. Unhook and release this. Let's help if you take the screws completely out. Let's put this out. The power pack you just wiggle out until it comes loose. Again, if you haven't undone the screws 100%. out. With DVD drive um, you will need to 
unloop it from the front and pull directly up on it. DB drive this way. Got some ribbon cable. The tab works down here. It's this way. And slide out and lifts off. Totally easy. Um, my very first video was actually a PlayStation 3 stuck disc. So we did do all of this stuff originally. Right, because we're going to apply heat, I'm going to actually remove the ribbon cables because I don't want to burn them up. Get out, put on. So we'll have to undo the plate. But luckily, this one's got the plate and everything in it. So this one's looking good for repair now. Okay, so we've, now we remove this, get a little screwdriver, dig it into the front side of it, comes out little gaps. Take the hard drive out now. It's important to use the blue screw in here, tiny blue screw. Make sure you get a screwdriver to what fits the blue screw, because otherwise you'll break it. And then make sure you don't twist it fast. Try and just ease it in and eventually it'll turn out. This is to release the hard drive. I swear they put this in to mess people up. And then hard drive out. That should be a 60 gig. So 60 gig hard drive is out. Right, remember this one is a longer screw than this point. It's about the same size as a shorter screw, but remember, it goes in there next to the power point. And more fucking interruptions. And now for the fun stuff. So we're here, we've um, taken everything out of the blooming case. You might have hated that part of the video. And what we've got now, okay, we've got Dissolve It, which is universal stain remover. Um, half a can left of this. I think it should be enough. And dental floss. And my battery has just gone to 15 fucking percent. Anyway, so we've got the dental floss. Right then, will this even work? Yes, it does, and no, it's not instant. So what I do is spray the chip and dissolve it for a while. Try not to get it under the chip, but under the pad. Got it under the chip, that's not good. That's better. Now that's actually going under the chip because this side, where the memory units are, this side, they've got the two memory units here, joystick connectors, this bit has got a gap. So it doesn't matter if you fill that gap up because it doesn't really matter. Now this stuff does dry off and completely disappears. I've tried this with isopropanol, it doesn't really work. I've tried this with other remover, it doesn't really work. So. Leave that in for a few seconds. Or the longer better, I left it overnight once. Didn't really do much different. And then you'll need a length of floss. You can probably double it up if you want. So it's double strength. Give it a twist. As long as you can wrap it around both fingers. 
Right. So when it's round your fingers and you've got a little tourniquet, keep a space so you don't knock anything flying. And then just like flossing your teeth, get it under. And then you just start soaring. Gently start soaring. Make sure it's actually down under the chip. And don't put too much pressure on your board because you don't want to break the pins. Which I've done, I've broken this before doing this. Like it was only a test one. The test video is on, um, well, be uploaded after this video actually. It's only about 20 seconds long. In fact, you could just watch that video because this proves it works. I'm going to keep on doing this and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so I've been working on it for about 10 minutes and um, it's starting to go around the corners. Get over towards me. Catching on something under the... You have to get that, you need it held, doesn't it? Mm. it? It just goes everywhere, so you can't put it in a vice. Is that very cool? Yeah. I think they're just 90% through it. Right, I think it's just about to go. Now, this hasn't taken this long, it's taken a lot longer than this, what was shoving. Starting to go off the end of there, if you notice. It's round. Okay, will it be this time when we get through it? The weight is ridiculous. I'll edit this so it's quite quick. I just want to do it so you guys can see it come off. Might need another bit if I go too mad on it. You see that? See it come in. The last bit of floss I reckon. Well, it might lift but we're going to cut it all the way off. This one should be it. 
Now all we used is the spray and tooth floss. There's something catching it. See it's going down. And down. And this is the really long way of doing it. But it should be the safest way of doing it. Without your razor blades, without your knife, without your probe thing, what it really says to use. I think this is it. The last bit. Still see it moving around the top part of that. But now, should, a bit of luck, see it's still very strong. There we go. So this tooth floss, and once you get it up, amazingly it's quite weak. Just a twist, we'll pull it off. There you go. There's the underneath of it. Turn it around there. Let's have a quick look at that. Hopefully it's not scratched. There's some horrible stuff up there, but hopefully that's um, nothing bad. Let's just have a look, see if we can remove that. That scratch has come off, so it won't scratch in the long run. I don't know if what that is though. That better not be a scratch. Somebody else might have been in it. But it looks okay. Maybe somebody tried to get it off and was thinking, no, ain't going to do that. But take some close-ups of it and see how it gone. There you go. All that goldy colour, what looked like scratches off now. I think it was old paste. And that's it, done. Okay, so proof of concept. Chip top off with dental floss. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll do the heap done and everything. I won't show that on film. And then we'll see if we can't get rid of the red light of death. No guarantee, obviously. But that's the way to remove that without scratching your chip. Well... It's long, but yeah. Same. Okay then, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this, and see you all again on the next one. All right, bye for now. Okay, so I've done the heat gun trick and put it back together, and we're going to test to see if it works. We saw it before. No yellow light of death. And there we go. All up and running. So yes, uh, a good successful um, tooth floss cut for the chip. I say it's still going to work out if, um, or how it's going to work out for you, I'm not too sure, because you have to still do the heat gun trick. I use an old paint stripper um, gun, um, because I find it actually does it more evenly and more power than my um, small but too powerful solder um, air gun. That just seems to burn it up, but um, it's worked. It's got a paste on it, which is TX4, if I'm thinking right. Uh, which one is this? MX4. MX4 paste on there and it's still got a, like a thousand bloody screws out of it but it needs to go back together 
But let's see. And then um, I suppose hack this one because it's 60 gig. I've never hacked a 60 gig one before. And then that would be it. So there we have it. PlayStation 3 for £20 plus £10 postage. Red light of death or yellow light of death when I brought it. Fixed in the way you saw. And done. Um, and that's it. Okay guys, thanks for watching this. I'll see you again on the next one. And bye for now. Oh, and by the way, our cat brought in a new cat. Okay then, see you guys. Bye for now.